I'm the father of Allison's adventures. <laughs> I'm here in the mountains working on our cabin, trying to finish it up for the fall so we can be in it this winter for ski season. And it's really hard to get Allison off her surfboard and out of the warm water. But she's coming to Colorado to visit. She was born here. So we're getting her back home again. Well, I'm pretty super duper beyond excited to be here with my papa, helping him create his and our lifelong dream of having a cabin in the Rocky Mountains. Oh, I'm a skier. I was raised on skis. I love skiing. I love winter. Not all the time. We moved to Hawaii for two years and that was 30 years ago. And our daughter was born in our log cabin here in Colorado. And we really miss it. So this has been a 40 year dream of having another house here. It's all reclaimed windows, reclaimed walls, old materials being reused, and it's gonna be 95% sustainable. The whole process of the wall is to not use much wood. It's all straw. There's very little wood on the wall. As you can see, there's maybe two two by fours, two by four boards every four feet. And that's it. And it's all clay from our land. If you look at the walls on the inside that have been finished, it, the clay we're putting over to cover the straw, which is like adobe then, is uh, clay from our land. Right over here, we shoveled it and sifted it and mixed it with water, and that becomes the wall. So it's all natural materials. The wall breathes. So that's what it looks like before, and then that's what it looks like after. So anybody could build a house like this up to code in Aspen. Oh yeah. Show me inside. This is so cool. This is the main, the main hall. This is going to be my room because it has a bathtub. There's still a fireplace right here, a living room, a dining room, and our kitchen. And the floors will be clay. Clay floors, it looks kind of like leather, like what the, uh, a lot of the Native American tribes used. A lot of it's been shipped in from Indonesia and in Bali, where my Balinese family helped us carve these incredible um, you know, beams that are around. These came actually from East Timor, um, from the revolution from the ceremonial huts, and it's just this labor of global love coming together in a home. It's 400 year old teak from Indonesia, from Irian Jaya, from New Guinea, from Sumatra. It's all salvaged over the last 20 years I've been saving it. And we made the whole post and beam structure in Bali and then put it up here with used lumber. There's no hardware, it's all pegged with hardwood pegs, jungle pegs. So no nails? No, you see the peg right here? Whoa. We have to cut that off. Holy cow. All these windows are reclaimed from remodels in Aspen and in the valley here. Mm -hmm. They're all thermal pane windows and they allow the heat in but not out. Well, I designed it and it's been a labor of love. I've been thinking about it for over 40 years. It's been in the planning stages for 20 and I started building it six, seven years ago. Well, eight years ago. If you have a dream to build a house or to travel with your family or to do something outside the norm, you can do it. All it takes is passion. It doesn't take money. It takes manifestation and passion and support from family and community. High five. Love you, Papa. Love you. So one last question. If somebody out there in the world wanted to do a house like this, where do they start? Call me. <laughs> David at yogaadventure.com. All right, you might be getting some emails about how to build a sustainable house. Do it. All right. Make the world a better place. What's that? Make the world a better place. Lots of aloha and love from the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Yeah. <laughs>